Hey my lovelies, Serene Dream here with your Fill Me In General Energy reading. And if you're new to my channel, how this reading works is it can apply at any time that you find this reading. It is timeless and it can resonate with you for the day, the week, the month, or even the year that you find it. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Reverse the messages if that's how it fits your situation. If you like to check out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the rest of the year or your love forecast, for the rest of the year, you can go ahead and check out the Vimeo links below to view those. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to that information can be found below as well. Follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And let's go ahead and get into your messages at this time. Okay, the first thing I'm getting, I'm getting this energy like I forgot something. So... Let me just, I'm hearing missed a step. I feel like someone is going over a plan and they're trying to make sure that it's perfect. They don't want to miss a thing. They don't want to have any missteps in this plan because they feel as if that if they were to do anything wrong, if they were to miss any moment or mark in this plan, that it could mess up everything. This person is a fanatic. Like they have been planning something. And um, yeah, this person is very fanatical about that plan. This person I'm picking up, they have a very perfectionist personality. So when this person creates a plan, they plan everything down to a T. They don't leave anything out. All the details is very much Virgo energy. Um, even if they aren't a Virgo, they could have that in their chart or they could just be in that energy, embodying that Virgo energy right now. Um, even if this is not normally how this person behaves, I feel like at this particular time with this specific situation, they are being a perfectionist because they don't want to miss. They don't want to strike out. So they're making sure that they cross all their T's, dot all their I's. And um, before they make the actual move to... Uh, go forth with their plan like they're they're planning everything out they have the plan in order but i feel as if they're like going over it you know it's almost like rehearsing something like when you have a show and you got the show all planned out you got the you know choreography you got the list you the songs whatever you have the whole show completely choreographed and it's like you know it's all a matter of like getting on the stage and giving the show to other people but it doesn't mean that the show itself is not ready but before you get to the point of show of giving the show to other people you're rehearsing time and time again to make sure that the show is perfect you don't miss a mark you don't miss a beat because when you present it to the world and you present it to whatever audience, you want to make sure that everybody is wowed by it. So that's the energy I'm getting from this. It's like whoever is creating this plan, it's like they're making sure they do everything perfectly and they're going over, they're going over it, every uh, section, every uh, part of it um, numerous times because they want to make sure that when it comes time for them to present this to whatever audience they're presenting it to that it is going to wow them. That's what I get. But this person is very determined because I feel I'm hearing like they've been held back. This could even been like a self-imposed restriction, but I feel like in some way in, uh, in the most recent past, this person has been held back either you know through outside circumstances or may, or it, it could even be them holding themselves back but this person doesn't want to do that again they're ready to grow they're ready to go forward and do what they've never done I, i'm hearing like no other so i'm not really sure what that means at this moment but i feel like they're going for it with something and I feel like whatever they're going forward with is something that is very new territory for them. And maybe whatever it is they're going toward, they feel like it's worth it because it's like no other uh, that they've ever come across. This could be a situation. This could be a person. You know, take it however it resonates. 
And this person is anticipating that once they get there and present this to whoever or whatever audience that, um, again, it's like they, they feel it has to be perfect. And I feel like they're imagining that this offer won't be refused because they planned everything out to a T that whatever it is they're presenting is going to be met with great reception because they they worked on this. I'm hearing night and day. Everything, I'm hearing like everything is tight. Like everything is, like I said, it's all like crevices, sections, pieces of it. Everything is perfectly orchestrated and put in its place before they present it. I'm also hearing timing. So yeah, this the, a part of this plan also involves this person planning out the perfect, what they consider to be the perfect time for whatever it is they're trying to present and whoever they're trying to present it to. I feel like this person has used, I'm getting like divination energy or divine energy. This person has tapped into like some sort of divine energy, maybe using divination to figure out the perfect time to go forward with this. Yeah, so that that's a part that's a part of the planning, the perfect planning they've been doing. They consulted with I'm hearing they consulted with the gods um, to make sure that everything is planned to a T in that they have the perfect timing to execute this plan. This plan might involve Okay, give me a moment because I was gonna say something but I feel like I'm being told not to say that. Let me just tune in a bit more to see what this is actually telling me. I feel like, okay, when I mentioned before, this person had like restrictions, either outside forces or self-imposed restrictions that was holding them back from going forward with this in the past. And now they're moving forward. It's like, yes, they're moving forward, but I feel like it's still some parameters that they need to obey within this situation that they can't go outside of. So yes, it's like, I'm hearing the gods. The gods approve this person going forward with the plan, but the gods also are making sure that this person is like they're giving this person boundaries and making sure this person doesn't step outside of those boundaries with this plan. This person can only do what the divine allows them to do the way the divine allows them to do it. So this could be like when I was mentioning earlier, them tapping in using div divination to figure out the perfect timing to go forward with this. Like if this person like they could have been they could have been given an exact time down to the actual minute that they are to go for it with this if they were to go outside of that time like even going like moving forward a minute earlier or a minute later like they could receive some sort of punishment so this person is being very careful to execute this plan exactly as they have been instructed by the divine. So when I was picking up earlier this, that this person has been planning something down to the T, this has not been done like by themselves. I feel like they've had divine help and it's all a matter of them like just listening. I'm picking up like Noah's Ark. The story of Noah's Ark and how God instructed Noah how to build the Ark and like gave him all the instructions down to like how many animals of each species to allow on the Ark and 
what to make the ark out of. I feel like this person is getting some kind of instruction like that from the divine. Like they are being divinely led to uh, construct this plan and pursue this plan. But if they don't follow the instructions perfectly, they're, they could receive a punishment. So this person, like they're being very precise for that reason because they don't want to suffer the punishment of not going through with the plan exactly as they've been given it. Okay, and I'm hearing everything is going to work out. So yeah, if they follow this plan down to the T, they're going to find they're soon going to be celebrating. I feel like this is going to happen very soon. I keep getting nine. So for some of you, this could happen on the ninth. This could happen in nine days. Um, I'm not getting nine months because it's something I'm hearing nine minutes. Uh nine hours so yeah it could be nine minutes nine hours nine days or on the ninth from whenever you watch this reading that um this could be happening to someone or this could be if you are the person who's following through with the plan this that could be nine can be significant and when you go through with the plan as far as the timing is concerned but yeah if this plan is followed through like precisely I feel that this person is going to be finding themselves on the end of a celebration they're going to be extremely happy they're going to I feel like this is everything that they probably ever wanted but probably didn't think they would get or didn't know how to get or never thought they would have but now that they have it like when they actually get it they're going to be over the moon and they're going to be so happy they listened to the divine because uh yeah, again, it's like if they didn't listen, they probably wouldn't be in this um, celebratory energy at the end of it all. So, yeah, this person is not going to miss a step. They're going to make sure they follow plans perfectly because they know that if they do, they're going to be met on the other side with the great celebration that they've been waiting for. Um, and I feel like when they do get there to the celebration part they're going to be thanking the gods i keep hearing the gods so yeah this person could be um i don't know what what is it is it money monotheist Mon i don't know what the i can't think of it at this time but it's someone who believes in multiple gods um i feel like the person i'm talking to could have a like have a belief in multiple gods but um yeah, no judgment here. I just feel that this person is going to be thanking those gods for gifting them with this because they know that this is a heavenly gift. Whatever it is, it is a very, they feel like it's a heavenly gift and nothing less. Okay, so that's about all I have for you all for this Fill me in energy reading. I hope this reading was helpful to you. Again, if you'd like to check out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the rest of the year, or your love forecast for the rest of the year, you can go ahead and um, check out Vimeo links below to view those. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, link to that information found below as well. Follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And I'll be back with more readings, lovelies. Bye.